It's a 51-mile stretch of asphalt that carefully avoids any sizable settlement. Farm to Market 604, just to the east of Abilene. It's a quiet road we've driven many times, and it's where Larry Sanders, just a few years ago, found an eight-acre piece of land he wouldn't trade for anything in the world. At first glance, you might think he bought this place for the magnificent view. That never even crossed Larry Sanders' mind. Bob Fox. Larry Sanders. How are you? Doing great, Kelly. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. So nice to meet you. So excited to have you all here today. Oh, we're thrilled to be here. This is great. This uh, property is 8.6 acres. Larry's cleared the brush and cleaned up this massive concrete pad since he first saw it more than 20 years ago. We're standing on the roof of the second tallest building in this region of West Texas. This is a 18 and a half story skyscraper. There's 18 stories going down in the ground below. Underneath us, 18 and a half stories. Nothing like this has ever been built in America. When I bring people out here for the first time, I see a lot of awe, a lot of amazement because they've never seen or heard about this stuff, but it unfolds to a, a much greater degree and they hear the rest of the story and they realize what this place means. So you're telling me that exactly, what, 60 years ago, your little eight acres of paradise was in the crosshairs of the Soviet Union. Absolutely. Suddenly the veil is torn from the Russian secrets. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Cuba became the focus of world attention. Here centered the most critical threat of global war since the surrender of Germany 17 years ago. All units are alerted for action. ICBMs are ready. One of the most tense chapters in American history, if not the history of the world, 72 nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile launch sites were built across America as a fierce deterrent to Soviet aggression. Because Abilene's Dias Air Force Base was home for the Strategic Air Command, 12 underground launch facilities were built around Abilene, many along Farm to Market Road 604. The Cuban Missile Crisis in October 1962 brought America and the Soviets close to the brink of nuclear war. Each missile silo descended almost 200 feet straight down with a compound of control room, command center, and heavily fortified passageways. Have faith in me on this. You know, a lot of people get nervous when they go underground, but uh, this is a very safe environment. Hopefully you're not claustrophobic, but uh, you know, it's roomy, it's bright, and uh, very, very safe. I've just had some people that feel uncomfortable going underground. And the idea of a structure that's 18 and a half stories underground, the magnitude of that is it's intimidating. Welcome to the Launch Control Center Level 1. This is a two-story structure. And the first level is where the crew lived. They had bunk beds in this area. They had a full kitchen, uh, showers, bathrooms, all the luxuries of a uh, thermonuclear proof launch control center. <laughs> And this is where they spent their 24-hour shift. The launch control center is awesome, but everyone wants to see the silo. There's a 40-foot tunnel that connects the launch control center to the silo itself. And there's three blast doors. You're only seeing approximately one-fifth of the silo because the rest of it is underwater. When the site was salvaged, they removed the sump pumps and the water started coming in immediately. Standing underground in the 20-story concrete silo that once housed the most destructive force the world has ever known, we hear echoes that seem to never find their way out and reflections in the chilly 55-degree water that has slowly seeped in over the decades as if the earth is reclaiming this enormous historic hole. Why do you do this? Because I have a passion for the history and a passion for the men and women who are a part of that history that deserve recognition, they deserve respect, and they deserve the glory of victory 
that they were a major part of in the Cold War. And we won it. Those people deserve recognition for it, and they deserve our respect for that accomplishment. You, you get a little emotional when you talk about this. Well, these are great people, and these are people that have not been thanked enough for their sacrifice. The confined spaces, the tunnels, they all lead to the one spot where the order called DEFCON 2 Prepare to Launch came across the console in this very room. With the decision to go to DEFCON 2, the commander at the launch console reaches into his holster, pulls out his 45, blocks and loads it, and sets it on the launch console. Everyone knew that under DEFCON 2, if an order is given, I obey it, or that's authority to my commander to kill me. And had they gotten the message that we were going to DEFCON 1, what happened? If the DEFCON 1 message came through, that is the order to launch. So for just under 10 hours, this team was fully anticipating the next message coming through the console here was going to be to launch the weapon. So I can't imagine what goes through young professionals' minds for that long, thinking about the inevitability of the world ending, literally. The integrity of the structure is such that it'll probably outlast the pyramids. I just don't want the stories of the folks who are alive today and with us to disappear. That's what we have to preserve today. Larry Sanders, a man who bought eight acres outside Abilene, a concrete and steel monument to the people who served here, who rose to the occasion, facing one of mankind's worst nightmares. In a way, the end of the Cold War and the future of the world was determined out on a lonely Texas farm road. This is the only Atlas missile site in America that is intended for public interpretation and long-term preservation of this history. And that's a story I will continue to tell because every American deserves to hear it. I love that story. We've got a Me special... too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.